Hey guys, so new comic book Wednesday, and before I get to my review of Batgirl number three, I will show you what kind of comics I got today. So I also got another issue of Batgirl for my girlfriend. I got Batman Robin, which I will do a review of next. I got Green Lantern and Superboy, and last but not least, Ultimate Spider-Man number four. Now these are the review; these are the order in which I'm going to review the comics. So we're going to start off with Batgirl. Now, back row number three ends, you know, uh, starts off with, you know, what, where uh, issue number two left off. Where the mirror has targeted um, a guy named Rupert and is going to kill him. Um, and back row has to go save him. Now, Rupert's on a train going to work. And, of course, um, he's going to, you know, get, he's going to get exploded in there if, he, if back row doesn't go save him. Um, so Batgirl goes along and tries to save him. And as, you know, Batgirl tries to save him, you know, we figure out that the way he's taking out these people is by the way they survived death. Or, you know, there was a miracle that happened. So what happened was that, um, Rupert was actually, he fell on, on the train tracks and he fell on the second railing and somebody came up and saved him in a split second before the train came and hit him. So he survived that. So that's how, you know, Mira wants to kill him. Now, Macro couldn't find, you know, the bomb in time, and he, she had to save everybody else. So what she did was she used her smart thinking, was that Mira also targeted Macro and wants to kill her. And, you know, he has a way that he has to kill everybody altogether. So, you know, what Macro does was she uses her smart thinking. She said, well, he probably wants to kill me by falling because that's what he thought, that I nearly fell that one night. and But then it was a miracle that happened that I survived that night, that I grabbed onto a ledge and I survived. So what Mirror wants to do to kill, you know, Batgirl is by pushing her off and having her fall off, you know, a building or something. So what she does is that she hugs onto Rupert and... You know, she says that, of course, you can't kill me this way because I'm not supposed to die like this. I'm not supposed to die in an explosion, so you can't kill Rupert. You can't kill me either. So Miro is like, smart thinking. But, of course, there's a gap opening. The person who tried to save Rupert is on another train. And the train goes into collision course with um, the train Rupert and Batgirl is in. And it explodes. And then, you know, we open off with, um, you know, we figure out that Barbara survived the the you know the train crash and explosion and she survived it and you know we figure out also that she wants to tell um commissioner gordon something because she goes and visits him and he wants to, you know she wants to go on a lunch you know date with him and we found out that um that she broke up with her boyfriend and that she's unable to find a job and she thinks her you know roommate's an anarchist so at that moment, she couldn't tell him how she, you know she really felt, and we also get a note and hint that Barbara's condition, how that how she's able to walk again, that she could lose her ability to walk. She said that um, her condition can deteriorate, so it's given that maybe if this issue doesn't go too well, she might go back to a wheelchair. So we're giving a hint that maybe this issue, you know, this comic might not do so well. So we might have Barbara go back into a wheelchair. Don't know for sure, but they gave us a reason why she might go back into a wheelchair sooner or later. We don't, we don't know, but yeah. And, you know, Commissioner Gordon is worried about Barbara and told her to take it easy. You know, doesn't want her to go back into a wheelchair. And then we open off with, you know, of course, look at this picture right here. Nightwing and Barbara. And Barbara's kicking Nightwing. So, interesting thing is that Barbara goes to get her, um, her motorcycle that was impounded because she left it back at the hospital uh, in issue one. She goes back and gets it, and she meets up with Nightwing, or Nightwing actually follows her. And Nightwing, you know, is in concern of, you know, Batgirl. She, he is concerned about her condition right now, how she's able to walk again, and, you know, they don't want to have anything, you know, take that away from her. So what happens is actually she describes her relationship with, you know, Dick Grayson, Barbara and Dick Grayson, how... We know that they've always loved each other. They've been a couple before, and they've, you know, uh, Nightwing actually has proposed to Batgirl before. And, you know, she was hinting that, you know, she still has feelings for him. Um, even though, like, in the last issue, we figured out that she has a boyfriend, but, you know, 
you now know that she still has feelings for Dick. So, you know, she talks about the past between him and her and how, you know, her feelings are still there for him. And later on, you know, they take, you play like a little tag game where, you know, they just jump around buildings, you know, doing acrobatics and stuff like that. And then Barbara gets a, a bit upset because, of course, Nightwing catches and catches up to her and, you know, says, tag, you're it. And, you know, she he tells her that of his concern and she gets upset because she thinks he's he pities her, that he, she doesn't want his pity. And um, she fights him. And they have a fight, you know, on top of the rooftop. And later on, Nightwing tells her that, you know, you gotta stop doing this. We only care about you, me and Batman or, you know, Bruce. We love you, you know? We... We aren't pitying you, and we aren't doubting you. We just care about you. You know, people are doubting Barbara because she's able to walk again, and she's not able to take care of herself. But, you know, that's she's just crying out for help. But, of course, Nightwing breaks her out of it, and she gives, her, gives him a lock of her hair. Like, she snips a bit of her hair and gives it to him. And, yeah, she does say try to say, I love you. She almost says, I love you, but she says, I care about you a lot. Or, I care a lot. I, I care about you. But... You know, sad that they can't get together, but hopefully they get together. Now, this issue, I say the mirror storyline is still just okay. Um, I don't like it as well, the mirror storyline. But, you know, giving it a chance, you know, seeing Barbara's relationship with Dick Grayson in this issue just fully, fully, fully just keep making, you know, just made me fall in love with this issue. Because, you know, before Dick Grayson and Barbara did have a really, really, really good relationship with one another. They both loved each other through, you know, thick and thin through Batman and through, like, you know, being Robin and Batgirl, Nightwing, stuff like that. It's just really great to see her talk back about the relationship with one another, which is great. And I like it. Uh, I mean, I love it. But, yeah. So, you know, just check this issue out if you guys can, and that's my review on it.